The USS Gerald R. Ford is making naval history. It launched the first aircraft using an electromagnetic catapult. Reporter Timmy Lee went on the ship today to talk to the crew members who helped with the launch. It's the Navy's most sophisticated aircraft carrier. And now the USS Gerald R. Ford can proudly say it has successfully launched and landed a fighter jet using its new launch system. We've been waiting for this moment for four years. We put countless of hours into maintenance to bring the system up. With this pumping in the air, sailors aboard the ship say it was like a scene from Top Gun. And then after that, it was just, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's just keep, let's keep arresting this aircraft and let's keep shooting her off. And and uh, just doing our job. Lieutenant Commander Jamie Strzok was chosen to fly the FA-18 Super Hornet. The sleep the night before was uh, uh, hard to come by, but as soon as we cleared, cleared the uh, landing area and come over here and start getting gas and, and waiting, uh, all that kind of pressure just faded away really, and now I just felt kind of at home. The ship is equipped with state-of-the-art technology. The new electromagnetic launch system called EMALS replaces the old steam catapults. That system was tested very rigorously up to the point where we actually put an aircraft on it. By the end of the day, the Ford completed four catapult launches and landings. The first run was a big success and now crew members start preparations for the next test. The Navy is waiting to receive the data back from this first test run so it could look for any things of concern, pinpoint any anomalies, so that it can make some tweaks for the next test run, which is scheduled for sometime this fall. At Naval Station Norfolk, I'm Jemmy Lee, 13 News Now.